So we're going to get off of here. We're going to head over to Cosmo, and we're going to get some wins, right? Uh, yes, we need it. All right. See you guys Bye, later. Bye, guys. checked out of Bellagio. We walked over to Cosmopolitan. Jackpot room was ready at 11.30, actually like 11.15. Yeah. Terrace one bedroom suite. These rooms are awesome if you've never seen one before. We're gonna do a room tour later, but we are starving to death. We've gotta go get some grub. Yes. Let's do it. Lunch done, walk 16. That was good. It was really good. I got the uh, uh, spicy pork you wrap, and you got... I got the uh, rice bowl with teriyaki chicken. And yeah, and, and the price was is good. About $14, uh, I think your wrap went, it might have been 13, yeah. mine was 14 for sure. That's not bad, it was a lot of food. We both got full and we hadn't eaten all day, so. Yeah. Now we gotta get the heck out of here, get to CVS, because we've got a fridge in this room and we're gonna put it to use. Gotta go get some water, some other provisions, We'll check you guys in a little bit. <laughs> okay. You gotta unlock the door first. Helps. <laughs> so, uh, we just got in the elevator and stood in the elevator <laughs> for about 45 seconds before we realized we hadn't pushed a floor button. But that's okay because I forgot a mask anyway. So, you know what? We just never left the 69th floor. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the room key. We don't know what we're doing. We don't have the room key. <laughs> it's my identity card. We don't have the room key. We don't have a room key. We gotta go down. Well, what are you gonna do now? I just need a mask. <laughs> this, this day, guys. It cannot be. Anymore. This day. Is not going well. So we made it back from ABC so stores, bright. and um, it's January 25th, and I hear a lot of people say Vegas is freezing cold in the winter time. <clears throat> it looks like I have a bunch of goo. This is a sweat towel. What are you saying over there? <laughs> I smell so much. It's hot everywhere. 
And the people who run the casinos think it's cold, so they crank up the heat. And if you've ever been here in the wintertime, you know the buildings are unbearably hot. I have sweated through my shirt every day. I know that's too much information, but... And then look at her. Just bacon in the sun over there, like a toasted cheeser. Listen, it is 20 degrees back home. Oh, I... That looks good. That's very becoming. And uh, my dogs are barking. My dogs are barking. cocktail hour and it includes almost every property oh my gosh let's get back over here ah! all you gotta say is it's called cocktail hour and it includes almost every restaurant okay. on the property ready yep it's called cocktail hour and it includes almost every restaurant on the property that's right great deals usually between five and seven we'll put the particulars in this video pretty super loud. We got each a cocktail. She got the stone wall. I got the mezcal old fashioned. We'll put those both up on the uh, screen for you. Pretty cool place. so it's Wednesday afternoon afternoon yeah mm -hmm. we've had one night in this room so far aside from the terrace what's your favorite part of this room honestly just the the size of it um, I think yeah. the functionality and the size I've already used the Japanese soaking tub twice in less than 24 hours mm -hmm. I'll probably use it about three more times before we check out of here we ate at the Henry this morning mm -hmm. for brunch if you will short rib Benedict here you got an omelet yeah it was California really good. Club omelet mm -hmm. It was really good. good. Um, it and wasn't anything phenomenal, but it was a lot of food for the price. The price. Woo! And the Henry is open overnight and for breakfast. I think it closes at 2 or 3 p.m. Yeah, and then doesn't really reopen. Weird. It's got really weird hours. doesn't reopen again until like midnight or, or late. We'll put the hours up mm -hmm. on the screen. But it's the late night and then breakfast and brunch place. It's not open for dinner. Uh, but the prices were phenomenal. Yeah, the that prices were great. short rib Benedict mm -hmm. I got was $20, and your omelet was $18. Like 18 yeah. We got stuffed. It was after tax, $41 and mm -hmm. change. We're going to go hit the strip, see what kind of trouble we can get into this afternoon. Yeah. Bye, guys. Play some slots. Luck has not been kind to us on this trip for any trip. We're gonna play some slots here, see how it turns out. Let's go. Yeah. 
So we played for what, two hours, maybe two and a half hours. We were doing good. I mean, by good, I mean we were breaking even for a long time. And then she chose this machine. Yes, I get the pretty one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, it's date night, take two on this trip. Mm -hmm. We're at the Cosmopolitan this time, and we are going to go first to dinner, then to a show. Dinner is going to be at Beauty and Essex here at the Cosmopolitan. Um, actually, we're going to partake in their uh, cocktail hour. Take in cocktail hour, have dinner at Beauty in Essex, and then we're going to go see Opium. We're pretty excited. We've heard kind of mixed reviews, both good and bad, but... Yeah, it's a Spiegel World show. They also have done Absinthe, which we loved, and they also have uh, Atomic Saloon up at mm -hmm. Venetian or Palazzo, one of the two, and it's got pretty good reviews as well, so we're excited about this. Date night in Las Vegas, take two. Let's go. Let's do it. So we made it inside Beauty in Essex. We had some issues communicating. We wanted to be here for cocktail hour, and that's only available at the bar. So if you're seated at a table first, you can't, you can't get the cocktail hour deal. So we came back to the bar because we didn't want to miss out on two for one cocktails. They're $19 a piece, so two for 19 is a lot better than one for 19. What do you say? I agree. It's really dark in here. I thought this would be much brighter than this. There's a light like shining right in our faces, but you can't see us at all. We made it inside Beauty in Essex. If you can't tell, it's a little dark. It's a little dark, but very cool. So this is like a small plates type of restaurant. There's, uh, they don't use the word tapas, but again, that's kind of the theme of our dinners here is these yeah, small is. plates. They recommended getting four to six different plates for a, a party of two. So we're gonna start with two, then order two more. Maybe order two more after that, we'll see. But um, we're here, I promise you, you just can't see us. <laughs> how you go. You buy the back row, you get upgraded to the front row. We Check might regret this. We might regret this. Check out the view. So I think we might be in trouble. We accepted the free upgrade to the first row and I'm pretty sure that we're about to become part of the show. Wouldn't be my first time. And you know it's going to be me that they put on, right?
Is that on me? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we've been here three nights. Let's give our overall impressions of the property. First of all, what do you think about the room? I really like the room. Uh, it's super spacious. Uh, it's nice to have a separate living area along with bedroom. And of course, the balcony is just, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's that's awesome. It's like another room. You can go sit outside, and it's actually. January 28th today, mm -hmm. and uh, it's plenty warm. Well, I think you pretty much covered it all except for the Japanese soaking tub. I loved that tub. The property overall, I think, is one of the best on the Strip. Now, we'd stayed here one night before, but we didn't have a chance to really explore this property right. like we did these last three days, and it is amazing. And I think as far as dining is concerned, you've got everything here from super high end all the way down to the Block 16 food hall, the Henry for breakfast, I mean, the Wicked Spoon is now open again, so you've got it all. There's also opium, which we saw on this trip and, and really enjoyed. Yeah. So there's entertainment here as well. So this property has everything and the location. Yeah, the location is, is in my opinion, just perfect. Um, yeah. Anyway, this one's in the books. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas. Bye, guys.